Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, and this is my second project for the hashtag give up for September, hashtag love fall art. I did another card. I saw this technique on Jennifer McGuire's YouTube channel, and I actually had everything, which is not always the case that she used, so I decided to try it. I cut a piece of white cardstock, either 4x6 or 5x7, I don't remember because I hadn't cut it to size for the card, and I used two distress inks. Ripe, persim ripe persimmons, persimmon and sealess preserves and I used my two foam daubers and I did not like these. Um, I normally use these daubers to ink edges off, pa off paper when I actually remember to ink the edges but you know for this I went directly on paper and I don't know if you can tell but on the top it's a little little splotchy. I do not like that. So I do not like these. Um, only for inking the edges I like these. But I won these two years ago in Austin for the art retreat. So I used them. So after I did the inking, I ran it through my Big Shot with the embossing folder. And I used the Spiderweb one from Paper Studio at Hobby Lobby. And then I took a paintbrush and a little bit of Perfect Pearl, not Perfect Pearl, yeah, Perfect Pearl, Pearls. I get this and um, the other one confused and um, put that on the, on the paper. And you're supposed to buff it, but I didn't buff it. <laughs> then it sat and then I didn't know what to do, um, but I did cut it to size for the card, which is four and a half by five the card so you know I made a quarter inch smaller and then I found an extra one of these that I stamped for a pre for a project that you'll see tomorrow and I fussy cut him out this is from Viva Las Vegas Stamps it's the skeleton family and he got accidentally cut off when I was cutting the family out so I did glue him back together with crackle accents. And the taffy apple is from Ark on Wild from way back in the day. And I stamped and colored him. And I glued the taffy apple stick to his hand. And then I glued them together with the crackle accents. And then it needed a spider for the spider web. So this is an old, another oldie from Bugawops and I stamped him on a piece of paper that I cut down to a half, three and a half size that I have on next to me and I fussy cut him out and glued him on and that's it. So that's my project for today. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll have one more. So thanks for watching.